Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. If she doesn't scare you, no evil thing will. That actually sounded pretty good as far as I could tell on my side. What'd you think? We'll find out in the comments. What's up, guys? We're the Cine Fanatics. My name is Chris Adams. Now I'm Robert Adams. And we are doing a trailer reaction today. They finally released the trailer for Disney's Cruella. That's the uh, kind of origin story for Cruella de Vil from 101 Dalmatians. The uh, bad guy with one of those names that just scream, I'm a bad person. <laughs> uh, you know, Cruella. Yeah, anyway. Uh, this one, this time, is being played by Emma Stone and not... Um, Glenn Close. Glenn Close. Yeah. yeah. I know uh, her name. Got, yeah. All we've gotten so far was just that one image of Cruella. And we I feel like we've had that image for like over a year. And that's all we've seen. So now we finally get this first footage. I'm eager to see what this looks like. Uh, I, I feel like Emma Stone would be a great portrayal for this character. Uh, so let's see what actually is going on with this movie. From the very beginning, I realized I saw the world differently than everyone else. That didn't sit well with some people. But I wasn't for everyone. I like her voice that she's using here. Yeah. I guess they were always scared. <laughs> Devil. That I'd be a psycho. <laughs> but a new day brings new opportunities. And I was ready to make a statement. <laughs> How does the same go? <laughs> Hunger Games. <laughs> All right. Woman, hear me roll. <laughs> Interesting. The thing is, I was born crazy. Born fast. And a little bit mad. Yes. Hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, that looks fantastic. Um, I think that's the way I, 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 I think somewhere deep in the recesses of my mind that I think or thought that this, this is how it would go. This just is how that one would look. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't know why I didn't like, yeah. When they make the Corolla movie, it's going to look this way. It's going to feel this way. I, obviously this is this is the obvious choice to go in that direction yeah i i like it i like it now now i will say right off the bat and i'm i guarantee you i don't want to probably hang on this too much because i'm pretty sure the entire internet is comparing this to like joker birds of prey it, it, it's that kind sure. of a realm of movie the trailer sounds just like harley quinn narrating uh, what she's going through after the breakup with Joker. So obviously that that aside, this trailer looks good. Emma Stone the, as a villain. Kind of, yeah, it's got the same kind of like hot topic vibe to it that like say a Birds of Prey might. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so Cruella de Vil at Hot Topic uh, merchandise. It's, it's coming, yeah. I guarantee it's going to come. Um, I like her in this. <laughs> she definitely has that Margot Robbie look. So I mean, it, it, it's perfect for that. Uh, but like it kind of like, I also got the idea, the feeling of this is kind of like an evil twisted version of uh devil wears Prada. Like Emma, Emma Thompson is, is, uh, the Meryl Streep character and that Cruella DeVille is like shunned by the fashion world or something like that. So that's what she comes in with this flurry of like her, her cape on fire, like hunger games and, <laughs> like it, it looks like it might be really cool and that's where it's going to turn around and like lead to her like redesigning the entire fashion world using fur and that's why she's all into dogs and dalmatians and whatnot what i'm curious about though is that 
once again, we have a movie that's centralized on a villain from a prior property. Mm-hmm. What I'm curious about is like, we know that she is, she is completely a villain within the 101 Dalmatians. I mean, she wants to take a bunch of puppies and kind of skin them fur, get their fur, all that kind of stuff. That's Whatever. No yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just not, it's not good. Yeah. So now we're having a movie where she's our protagonist and we want to feel for her and understand her perspective and everything. Here's the thing. I'm okay with this though. I, I like the idea of twisting like narratives on their head and doing something different every now and then, in which case we have the centralized figure being an antagonist, being somebody that we probably aren't supposed to root for. And we're going to go ahead and follow their story anyway. And if that's what they're doing here, that might be really interesting. Like I know, I I know we've had like instances before with like Maleficent where they kind of did something with her story. They changed her story up and actually kind of made her a sympathetic character. Yeah, but yeah, I'm hoping they don't do that here. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that's going to happen here. Uh, yeah, I want her to be like just the evil person the entire time. She just happens to be like maybe Emma Thompson's character is like a lot more evil than her, and that she's got to overcome Emma Thompson's evil with her own. And that's what I'm hoping to see. I'm hoping we're basically cheering on the villain the entire time, and there's no redemption for her. And that might be a, a, a new alternative way of doing it because I don't want to make her sympathetic like Maleficent. I like the I like the other idea here is where Emma Thompson's worse, mm-hmm. so to speak. And then by the end of it, you find out, no, she's actually was trying to do the right thing the entire time. And Cruella is now the bad guy. Yeah. The bad person, whatever. That I think is uh, that I think would be an interesting way to tell a story. Either way, I'm fascinated by this. So whenever it comes out, I definitely want to see it. Yeah. Uh, so it comes out in May. Um, I don't think like it didn't look like it really gave away if this was going to be like a theater or a Disney plus premiere access. I would I would assume the latter right now uh, just because we got uh, was it Raya and the last dragon that's coming out mm-hmm. uh, pretty soon. That is a premiere access. So I would assume pretty safely. That's how Cruella is going to go as well. I don't know if that I think they actually did mention that before, but the, maybe yeah, it's just going to be my mind. I can't remember if they said it at the investor day or if there was like rumors spreading around that they were going to start pushing some of these like live action remakes, these live action reimaginations uh, more towards Disney plus than theatrical release. So it, it might, it might very well be on Disney plus either way. You can bet that we're going to be watching it, reviewing it and dropping a review right here on this channel for you to check out as well. So that's going to be all sorts of stuff to look forward to. You got anything else to add here? No, let's wrap this up. All right, guys, you can check us out on social medias. It's at Cinefanatics MLP. I'm at Chris Adams MLP. He's at Robert Adams MLP. You can check out on Twitter and Instagram there. If you do not know yet, you can hop up on our Patreon. We do all sorts of crazy cool stuff over there. And that's a, it's just a community of movie lovers being built there through our Discord, through watch alongs. Uh, we do like trivia nights, all sorts of fun stuff over there. So check it out. Hop on a tier that w- fits perfectly for you. Uh, outside of that, we got other stuff hopping on this channel. Tuesday nights at 930 Central, we do Tagline. That's our movie news show. We'll probably be bringing this back up at the next the next Tuesday, the next time we do that. So come hang out with us live in the chat and tell us what your thoughts are on everything that's happening there. But other than that, what else can they do here on this channel? They can comment below. What did you think of this trailer? What did you think of our reaction? Let us know down below. If you like this video, make sure to grant us a glorious like by hitting that like button down below. Also, as YouTubers, don't forget to subscribe to us. Hit that subscribe button. There's a subscribe button down below. There's also one that's right up here above our heads. Over here off to the side are a couple of videos that we have made. And as usual... (laughs) 